Now we've all got that old laptop somewhere sitting in the cupboard. We only use it when we really have to and it just it takes forever, what feels like forever to start up and try and open Excel and it just, just crashes. It's old, it's slow, just, just get rid of it. It's too slow, it's too old. No, the truth is computers don't just magically get slow over time. They get filled up with crap, which slows them down. They get viruses and you, you get more modern computers that are faster and then it makes the old ones feel slower, but they don't just magically slow down unless you buy an Apple product ever. So there is a way to bring them back to their former glory and in fact make them faster. And contrary to popular belief, you can work on laptops, you can upgrade laptops. It's not really any different to a desktop. It's just you got a bit less space to work with, but it can be done. And I'm going to show you one way that I use to make an old laptop just really, really fast, really easily. So what I'm going to walk through today is bringing my partner's laptop back from the brink. And this is something you can do in an evening over a few hours while you're watching Netflix. So here is my partner's HP. It's full of viruses. It's got a very nasty virus on there that I just cannot get off with antivirus software. So what we're going to be doing is wiping the hard drive completely. So first thing you need to do is save all of your documents, your pictures, your videos, anything you've got on there that you don't want to lose, save it. I wouldn't recommend creating a system image because that will copy any viruses over, but save all of the necessary documents on a hard drive somewhere so you can keep those for future use. So once you've saved everything on here that you need, there's a couple of things you're going to need to get this done. A small assortment of screwdrivers, a memory stick, it's 8 gigabytes or more, and the only thing you're going to need to buy is an SSD. Now if you don't know what an SSD is, this is what's going to make your computer really, really fast. Now I'm assuming that you've got a really old laptop that just has a hard drive and not an SSD. Double check that before you follow these instructions because you might already have one of these and then this tutorial is pointless. But if you've got a laptop like this that has a hard drive, then this is going to make your computer way faster. The whole point of this is it's basically a hard drive replacement, which uses a different type of memory to your standard spinning disk, which is a lot faster than a hard drive. So this is just going to allow you to store data much faster, boot a lot faster and run programs a lot faster. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Windows website and you want to download the latest copy of Windows onto this flash drive. At the moment that's Windows 10 and we're going to use that later to boot the new SSD. Now you can do that on this computer but if you've got another PC that definitely doesn't have viruses on it I'd probably recommend using that one instead. Once you've got your Windows installation USB set up now we're going to work on putting this new SSD in. So the first thing you're going to do is turn your laptop over and take out all these screws. and I recommend putting them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. Now before you open up your laptop and risk touching anything, you need to make sure you've earthed yourself. As you walk around in the day and you touch things and you rub up against things, this generates a static charge on your skin and on your hands. Now your computer's got delicate little CMOS circuits in there and other things, which if you touch that static charge can transfer and it can damage the components. So you need to make sure you've grounded yourself which removes that charge. Now this is really easy, you just need to find some kind of electrical appliance that has a metal casing. That metal casing will be earthed so if you touch it that will earth you as well and remove that static charge. If you're not sure if the thing that you have has an earth connection then the best thing is plumbing pipes. So right here in the garage I have one of the gas pipes for my house and as you can see there is an earth connection on there so you can touch anywhere on that pipe and it will earth you. Now if your laptop's really dusty this is a good opportunity to clean out some of that. If you've got a small very clean paintbrush you can go through and you can dust out the fan or anything else that's covered in dust. Now just because you've been earthed doesn't mean you can start grabbing things you've got to be careful what you touch here don't touch anything unless you really have to. Just on a side note, the first thing that I did when I opened this up before to look at it was I added a new RAM card. Some laptops will come with two slots, but they'll only come with one card. This one had a four gigabyte card and I had a spare four gigabyte lying around. So I've added that and instantly doubled the RAM. That's a cheap way to make sure that your computer can handle more things and more tasks. 
and it's just going to make it last a lot longer. So the thing we're going to be replacing is this hard drive here with our new SSD. Some bigger laptops might just have easy access to a hard drive through a little panel, but for this particular one we need to take the whole back off. Now if working anywhere on computers, it is best to have a ceramic screwdriver like this one. These are non-conductive and non-magnetic, so there's no chance of damaging any of the circuitry or shorting anything out with it. If you don't have one of these, you can pick them up on Amazon pretty cheap, but today we're not going to be working on any delicate circuitry around this area. We're just taking out a couple of screws around the edges, so you can actually use a standard metal screwdriver, assuming that you've demagnetized it and you're not touching anything other than these metal screws. Don't go near any of this delicate circuitry here because there's a good chance you're going to damage it and your laptop's not going to work. Now, there will almost always be four screws holding your hard drive in from the sides. To be able to get to those, we need to be able to lift this kind of casing up here. So I'm going to take these three screws out around the edge and hopefully it will lift up enough that we can get to the sides and get those screws out. And there we have our hard drive. Now, hard drives are pretty safe, they're not very volatile, so you don't have to be too careful handling these, but still just be a little bit cautious of anywhere near any of the pins. I'd always recommend trying to hold it by the outside metal case, because that's where it's less likely to be damaged. So turning it over, we can see we've got our 500 gigabyte hard drive. And we just want to carefully unplug that now. Now if we get out our new SSD, you'll see that's an exact fit for the old hard drive and in fact it's a lot lighter so it's made your laptop a bit lighter in the process. Now be careful with your old hard drive, don't throw it away. We can format this to clear off any viruses and any data stored on there. We can put it in a cheap caddy and we can use it as an external hard drive which would usually cost you about £30 so you can take that off the cost of this new SSD and you've got some backup storage that you can use at a later date. Now we're going to install our SSD, again it's the same as before, just make sure you've got the pins lined up the right way, they can only go one way anyway. And we'll put that in there. And that's all there is to replacing your hard drive with an SSD. So we're going to put this back cover back on, and then we're going to boot from our memory stick. Now, we turn this back round. So before you turn your laptop on, make sure you've plugged in this USB, because this is what's got Windows on it, and this is what the laptop's now going to boot from. So now's the time to turn on our laptop. Make sure it's got loads of battery power. If it doesn't, plug in it at the mains. And if your SSD is brand new and appropriately clear, it should just boot from your memory stick. If it's booted correctly, you'll get this Windows setup coming up. So we're gonna make sure you've got the correct language, time and keyboard input, and then we'll click next. And we'll go install now. So at this point, you can input a product key, but I'm just gonna go, I don't have a product key. You can buy these on Amazon or from the Windows website and I can't really work out what exactly they do because I've used Windows without product keys before and it's never really said anything. I'm just gonna go with Windows 10 Home. These are just different versions of Windows depending on what product key you buy. If you haven't bought one already, at some point you're gonna have to make sure you buy the same one, but in reality it doesn't really matter. Now accept the license terms without reading them and click next we want to do install Windows only, so we're not keeping any of the existing files. Not that there's anything to keep, but if you were wiping your hard drive and doing this again, then you'd be making sure you click that one anyway. Now, at this point, this is our drive zero, is the one that we want to use. You'll notice it's got 232 gigs. I put in a 250 gigabyte SSD, so that's about right. So we'll click on that and go next. And that's where it's going to install Windows. God. And I'm here to 
creepy. And if you like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards Okay, so it's going to ask you to do loads of different things. Do you want to enable speech recognition? I personally would recommend just saying no to all of these. They're all just things that are going to run in the background, like letting your apps use your location, and they're all just going to slow down your computer, every single one of these. Find my device again. That one you might want if you feel like you might lose it on campus or something, but in reality, I'm just going to keep clicking no, because all of these are things that can run in the background and just slow it down. And there we should have our install. You can see you can open stuff without really any loading screens whatsoever. And that's because of our new fast SSD. We shut that down now. Take out the USB so it doesn't try and boot from that again. You might find it's a little bit slow the first time. But even then, pretty much instant. And there you go, you just turned your old nasty laptop you were going to throw away into something that will keep up with most modern laptops now. And the best part is that only cost me £47, whereas a new laptop's going to send you into the hundreds or even thousands, and this will now last for a few more years. You can get SSDs even cheaper than that for about 30 35 I went with Samsung because I, I, I think they're the best, they're the fastest, but that's another topic entirely. And you've also got an external drive you can use, which would have cost you quite a bit to buy. And actually, now I mentioned that, I forgot to tell you about the enclosures. I think this one was about £5, and I've already put the hard drive in there. All you do is just stick your old hard drive inside, and you can just keep that in there all the time, which is what I do, and use it as an external drive. Now I know this is a little bit different to my usual videos of making things in the workshop, but as I said before, the whole point of my channel is just to teach you guys some of the things I've learned over the years to improve things, repair things, which I'm doing here, and just showing you how to increase the value of some of the things that you already have, which I think we've done. So if you made it this far, maybe you want to learn something else. So if you go to my tutorial playlist, I've got plenty of tutorials there, more coming every week. If you like this video, please do drop it a like, give me a comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.